Good morning, everyone. We're so glad you're here with us today. We are continuing our Worship and Wonder series today. And today we're going to do a story called The Ark and a Tent for God. Now, we've not done this story before because my kids were all so young that they would get Noah's Ark confused with the Ark of the Covenant. But now they've gotten big enough that we get to tell this story. So this is brand new for them. And please be patient with me because there's a whole lot of moving parts in this one. So here we go. Are we ready? Here we go. This is the desert box. Inside is a small piece of the desert. And so many important things happen in the desert that we just need a little piece of it here with us to tell our stories. The desert is a strange and wild place. At night, it is very, very cold. But in the day, it's burning hot. There's almost no water at all in the desert. The desert is always changing. The wind comes, and as it blows, it shapes and it molds. So the desert is never the same. Now, God led the people through the waters to freedom, and he gave them the 10 best ways to live. Remember that? We talked yeah. about that last week, right? Yeah. Now, the people of God were on the way to the promised land, the land God promised to give them. And the people of God loved the 10 best ways to live so much that they wanted to carry them with them. But... They needed a way to come so close to something so precious. So God told them how. First, they made a special box. An ark to carry the 10 best ways to live. It was covered with gold. And on the top were two golden angels. And inside the box, they put the 10 best ways to live. But now they needed a way to get ready to come close to the ark. So they made an altar where they could burn incense. Which made a wonderful smell and smoke. Now the priest could go through the sweet smelling smoke to the ark and be close to God. But this still wasn't enough to come close to something so precious. So they made a special table called the table of shoe bread. It's covered with gold. And every Sabbath day, they put 12 loaves of unleavened bread on it. Mm. And on the other side, they put the gold candlestick with seven burning lights called the menorah. Now the priest could walk between the table of the shoe bread and the menorah through the sweet smelling incense and smoke to the ark and be close to God. But this still wasn't enough to get ready. So they made a tent, a special tent called a tabernacle. I know. A special tent called a tabernacle. The tent for God was a special veil that divided the inside room with the outside room. Can y'all get on your knees and look at that? See, there's a special veil 
between the inside room and the outside room. They called the inside room the Holy of Holies. They called, and that's where they kept the ark. And now the priest could walk in the tent. He could go in the tent through here. In between the table of shoe bread and the menorah, through the sweet-smelling incense, through the curtain, into the Holy of Holies, to the ark, and be close to God. Outside the tent for God, the people made sacrifices at the great altar of burnt offering. Here they gave the very best of their animals to God, a great bowl of water called the lever. Laver, laver, was placed in front of the tent so the priests could wash their hands and feet before they went in the tent between the table of shoe bread and the menorah through the sweet smelling incense and smoke through the curtain into the holy of holies of the ark to the ark and be close to God. They covered the tent with beautiful cloths. Look at this. Look at this beautiful cloth they covered it with. Isn't that pretty? And this one. And this one. And finally, on the outside, they put one that was rough and woolly. So that when people pass by in the desert, they would see that and just pass on by. This was still not enough. They couldn't just leave all this sitting out in the desert. So they put a linen fence around it. Now they had a special place and a special way to come near to God. Hmm. It was a tent for God. So whenever the people of God moved in the desert, they could take down the fence. And the tent. And everything in it. And carry it with them. With the ark. With the ten best ways to live. Leading the way. Hmm. I wonder how it feels to come to something so close to something that's so special. As the people of God journeyed through the desert toward the promised land, the ark led the way. But the people of God don't carry the ten, can, ten best ways to live in the ark anymore. Today, we carry the love of God and the love for people in our hearts. Mm-hmm. Let's say a prayer. Hands together in your laps, heads down. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for giving us the 10 best ways to live. Thank you for giving us the 10 best ways to live. May we always show our love for you. May we always show our love for you. And our love for other people. And our love for other people. Every day. Every day. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.